router guards are used in Angular to prevent unauthorized users from navigating anywhere they want in your app. At this point, our app has a working Firebase authentication system, but any visitor can access routes intended only for logged in users. Guards handle this problem by implementing the can activate interface, which tells Angular whether or not to activate a certain route. In this example, we will protect pages from unauthenticated users and redirect them to a sign-in page. We use the CLI in Angular 4 to generate a default guard. Guards use the injectable decorator, so they need to be registered as a provider, just like any other service in the app module. Our users are authenticating via Firebase and the Angular Fire 2 package. In the service, we are subscribing to the Firebase auth state, then using a getter to see if the auth object is null. Check out the OAuth tutorial for more details on this code. Router guards always return a Boolean type or Boolean observable. The logic here is simple. If the Firebase auth state is defined, we activate the route. Otherwise, we return false and navigate the user to the login page. Now that the guard is complete, we just need to apply it to specific routes in the routing module. That's it for router guards. I'll see you next time.